On this video, we're going to be taking a look back on a very significant severe weather event that took place in both Brooklyn and Queens, New York on September 16th, 2010. It just so happened that I had my camera ready and my neighborhood was ground zero for the part of this severe weather event that took place in Queens. While the National Weather Service did confirm an EF0 tornado in Park Slope, Brooklyn on this day, this video will focus on the 125 mile an hour macroburst and EF1 tornado that was confirmed by the National Weather Service in the Middle Village, Regal Park, and Flushing neighborhoods of Queens. So what we have here is the Doppler reflectivity animation as the storms approach the New York City metro. That white dot you see there is my exact location when the storms hit. As we begin the animation, you'll see that I'm on the north end of a classic bow echo with a bookend vortex. I've overlaid my video on the bottom right, and you'll notice that there was a pretty extreme wind shift where initially the winds were out of the south-southeast, and then they quickly swung around to the north-northwest. That's a pretty clear sign that a circulation moved right overhead. And again, a confirmed EF1 tornado touched down just 1.7 miles to my northeast in Flushing Meadows Park. So that circulation was most likely consolidating right on top of me at the same time a 125 mile an hour confirmed macroburst was hitting us as well. And here is the Doppler velocity scan showing that circulation moving right over my location. The green colors are the inbound winds, or towards the radar, and the red are outbound winds, away from the radar. When you see those close together like that, it's a sign that a tornado may be forming, and that's certainly verified that day. the gun. Stand over here. Holy shit. That's, that's, that's big time. Could be a, could be a tornado. Holy crap. We got hail. Easily hurricane force wind gun. This is only a few blocks from my house. Uh, this is St. John's Cemetery, and some of the trees that you see here that are lying all over Woodhaven Boulevard came from St. John's Cemetery. Not all of them, some of them were lining the street uh, of Woodhaven Boulevard, but there were a few that actually got thrown over the fence at St. John's and into Woodhaven Boulevard and actually into some of the traffic that was driving by at the time.
My friends at the local 7-Eleven allowed me to do some filming inside, and you can see that the place was completely trashed. Uh, several panes of glass were blown out when the storm hit. Uh, the, the racks that they had in front of those uh, panes of glass were completely blown over. Glass went flying, but thankfully nobody was hurt inside the store. There were a few customers in there at the time, but nobody was hurt, thankfully. So this is a neighbor of mine, uh, not too far from where I live, and that's a 1972 Corvette that is underneath what's left of his garage. Uh, the good news is I don't believe it was totaled, but it obviously uh, sustained some pretty severe damage. Must have been driving down the street and just got clobbered. This is just, I mean, it's going to take a long time to clean up. The following day, we decided to head over to the Forest Hills neighborhood to see what kind of damage occurred there. This is McDonald Park, right at Queens and Yellowstone Boulevards. And as you can see, just about every single tree in that park was completely shredded. This is Juniper Valley Park in Middle Village, right at Dry Harbor Road. There was a ton of tree and power line damage at this location as well. 
but the power crews were already hard at work trying to restore electricity to that area. And the kids in the meantime were having fun playing on some of the downed trees. As of the making of this video, in my opinion, this event is up there on the list of biggest severe weather events to hit the Brooklyn and Queens area. There certainly have been many other significant events in the New York City metro. Who could forget Hurricane Sandy in 2012, which in my opinion was the worst extreme weather event ever to hit the area. But this event I believe deserves a spot on the list as well, and certainly for my specific area of Regal Park, Middle Village, and Forest Hills. If you're interested in checking out some of my other New York City specific extreme weather event documentaries, I link to those videos below in the description. So with that said, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time.